On April 14th, 2018, John Mayer posted this to his Instagram account. Is that not wild? That is some hyper speed improvisation and timing right there. That was sent in to me by Instagram user BBC Tripper with the title, But You Can't Play This, Dumbass, which is okay because I've known him for 20 years. We used to work together and he better be kidding. Let's take a look at what's happening in that piece. It's very reminiscent of Who Did You Think I Was? <laughs> sliding to this A7. So let's take a look at that chord. The A7, we have our root on the E5. We're muting the A, but you don't have to because it's the same note as the one you're playing above. And then we're sliding into the other two notes with the first and second fingers. So we're going from D4 and G5 into D5 and G6. And that forms our a7 chord with no fifth. So we have the first, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flatten that seven. And then we have our third. And this is used throughout the piece. Let's play it uh, to speed and then we'll slow it down. Just the first two measures. That was measure one and two. So the, the most important thing is this groove. funny arpeggio at the end is only played once. Let's concentrate on the groove part. So we start off with the root note, then we have a muted downstroke, and then the chords slide, and these are always upstrokes. So root note, and then because we're coming off an up, we're going to go down, up, muted, and we're going to get into the first of these two notes, and then we start the whole thing over again. So slow, and one thing I should mention is these bass notes, sometimes you hear two of them sounding at the same time. So we're, we're doing a lot of this uh, from the D5 to the D7 with the bass note in between. Sometimes you hear the bass note same time as that uh, D7. And it's either the open A or the, the fretted A on the E5 there. It's really your choice. But it's just one of these wide ranging strumming things. And the strumming he's doing is kind of like... So you want to get into that. It's really uh, almost 16th note like... But he's kind of choosing to skip over strings and kind of pull away from the strings as he's strung. But he's got this pretty steady thing going on. So let's do the whole thing slow. Arpeggio is at the very end, we don't play that once. It's eight on the low E, followed by 10 and 12 on the next two strings with an open A, and then a 10, 9, 12, finishing with an open A. And that A is kind of muted a tiny bit. And to get into it, we're we're gonna preface that with an open D, open A, and then an open G D. So it sounds like this. thing from the top slow
measures three and four. That's the hardest part right there. I find. And one of the changes is we're doing three notes on the bass note to kick things off going into the slide. So one, two, three, slide. And uh, just before we get into that chord thing, we're going to do two slides to end it off. So let's let's play that from the top with the groove part. One, two, three. Let me go into these chords. And the first one is on the D, D string, we've got 14, 12, 10. Do two of those. Next one is 12, 11, 10. And then the last one is 10, 9, 10. Before we get into this, that last one is just doing a bar on the seventh fret of the D, G, and B strings. And then just doing a bar hammer on uh, with your first finger on the fifth fret, same strings, and then just hammering onto that G6. So, in reality, it's kind of like one hit of the chord and then a muted kind of chord change upstroke. So instead of, it's too impossible to do, it's like, so, so slow, whole thing. And this calls into a question, uh, more improvisational stuff. You probably heard off the top that triple, but also in this part, Sometimes we're hitting two sevens there for the slide. Sometimes we're alternating between the five and the seven, the bass notes, like. So it's five, low, seven, low, slide. Sometimes it's five, low, seven, seven, slide. Sometimes it's five, low, seven, low, low, slide. It's really all over the place. It's up to you to decide how you want to play those. Let's do that whole thing slow from the top measures three and four. Measures five and six. So same old intro. But we're ending off with this D5, and we're doing this rundown. So it's 7-5 on the D, and then 7-6, pull off to 5 on the A, and then 8-5-0. So let's do that slow. Measure seven and eight. So we're sliding into a, a kind of variation on the riff. That's all that is, slow. So slide into this. Hit that D5, and we're going to go down, up, muted, and then hit that D7. Do that again. Let some space accumulate, and then we're going to do some double stops. Double stops are two notes played at once, and the shape is 14, 12 on the D and G strings. Slide down to 12 and 11. Slide down to 10 and 9, hit that twice, and on the second one, slide out.
And then we're gonna hit the low E twice, and then we're gonna do a little pre-chord slide, which is a precursor for sliding into the D7. So we're gonna be fretting D9 and G10. We're actually gonna do this in the next measure, but we're not there yet. So let's play that whole thing slow. Measures 9 and 10 where all the fun stuff happens. So let's play through those slow just so you can kind of hear the, uh, the notes. And he's shaking the chords when he's sliding into them kind of bending them a bit. So the first run up is uh, 10 on the low E, and then 9, 12 on the next string, ending on 10 on the D. Then we're gonna go 11, 12 on the A, and then 10, 12, pull off to 10 on the D, and then landing on the A12. Let's do that, just that part with the chord. So we're sliding into that D7, and we're only, uh, we, we kind of started the slide in the last measure, and we're sliding into this now, we've got the bass note happening at the start of this measure. And it sounds like a kind of thing, but it's actually a, it's like a, very fast. So slow. time. And then we do that again. This time we really kind of bend the chord, but it's like, again, the same kind of. And the next one up is on the A string, 10, 12, 9, 12 on the next string, and then 10 on the G, 2 on the G12. Then we're going to go so that's a kind of a double uh, pull off here on the G and B at the 12th fret. We're going to bend it a bit. And we're going to come back on the 10th fret on those two strings. And then we're going to hit the D12. So that part, we're hitting both the G and B strings at the 12th fret and then the 10th fret. And then ending off with two on the D12. bend in there, you can kind of hear the bend for effect. Throw those bends in there. So slow, both parts. So sliding in one final time to that D7, and the run up is, so it's 9, 12 on the A, 10 on the D, and then 10, 12 on the A, 10 on the D, pull off from D12 to 10, land on the A12, open A. So slide into that D7 one more time, and we have this open A twice, and then we're going to go down 
D7, C sharp 7, C7 to end off the measure. So the whole thing slow. Unlucky measures 13 and 14. So coming off that. <laughs> That's kind of how fast he plays it. It's ridiculous. I don't even know what scale that is. Let's break it down slow. So we're coming off that. And uh, measure 13 starts like this. And that's the two measures together. One more time, slow. So I find it easy to split that up into two pieces. For the, the timing for me, uh, I was finding it hard to get into this part. So I just split the lick up. This is like three notes uh, chromatically, six, seven, eight on the G, and then going to the uh, E7, pausing a little flick, and then B7, and then the pull off the open strings end off. I was just practicing that second part. So skipping the first note here with the first finger, just going, practicing that. And then putting it together with the It's a, either way, it's a tough slog. But once you get it down, it's a really fun thing. I have no idea what these notes are that he's playing. It's just John Mayer magic. And again, for contacts, it was coming off the... We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. Measures 15 to 16. So we're just chromatically going down that those seven chords, sliding into the B7, and then sixth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, we kind of strum this a couple times, and then third fret with some muted strums. Then we're going up to the E7 sharp nine Jimi Hendrix chord. We play that twice, a little pause, and then twice again, ending off with a muted down up. E7 sharp 9. Jimmy Hendrix chord. Measures 17 and 18. So that first one doing double pull offs on the 7 to 5 on the D string and then on the A string 7 to 5 and then the two metal strings 7 to 5 and then returning to the D7 and then ending off on the low E that's a bit of a weird one it kind of makes more sense to go something like that but he goes he ends that measure off like that and then the next one down 7 to 5 pull off on the D and then a 7 6 pull off to 5 slide down to 3 and then on the low E third fret and then twice on the E5 and then after that it's basically over the 20th measure has this has this kind of weird thing and uh, the video fades out so there's really nothing more to do after that you can kind of do your own thing and that's basically it that's just an amazing 
Instagram improvisation he's got there. The thing I liked about it when I first saw it was that's something that every guitarist does when they're funking around like they're, they do this octave thing where they go low high usually around the fifth position and it's just John Mayer's take on it. It's so different from anything that uh, us mere mortals would come up with, so. Uh, I kind of felt that's something that I've kind of done in the past uh, on my own, but never to the level that he did, and certainly never with these, these licks up here. So I'm gonna try to do that in my spare time. Uh, yeah, I hope you uh, get a kick out of learning this John Mayer Instagram thing.